Hi Floppy Catters! Today is a very exciting day because we are going to do optimal selection DNA test on Ash and Addie. Ash and Addie are my sister's seven-year-old ragdoll cats and these optimal selection tests are cat DNA tests but they take it a step further. They're actually used for breeders. I wish I would have done one of these on Camus because I wish I had known what kind of coat he had. Ash's coat is very similar to Camus's, but not quite the exact same. But his coat is that typical ragdoll bunny coat that I love. Addie has a very nice coat, but it's not exactly that bunny coat that ragdolls have. So we are going to do some cheek swabs and see what the results are. And you get to see them all in one video, but it's going to take us several weeks. Can't recall if I mentioned that the optimal selection tests are through the same company that does wisdom panel dna tests that i did on charlie and trig so i'm not surprised that the packaging is very similar it goes to wisdom health in lincoln nebraska we're in kansas so it shouldn't take too long to get there and it's all so nicely put together exactly what you need to do and then um, these are the two cheek swabs that we're going to send in but first you have to activate the kit online and you must activate your test before mailing the DNA sample. And then you slightly peel this back, take out a swab, run it through their cheek and then let it air dry. And then once both swabs are dry, you insert them bristle first into the protective sleeve and then mail the sucker back. You have to put your pet name and your name on there. I'm obviously not their owner, but I didn't want to put my sister's name on there because her privacy needs to be respected for internet purposes. All right, these are my sister's cats, like I mentioned, so I'm not sure, quite sure how this is gonna go. But you only need to open the sleeve just a tiny bit just to access these to pull them out. So I'm gonna um, have those ready. And then this cup is so that they'll air dry. I'm gonna go grab Ash. Hey, uh, it's okay. You were gonna do this one for some smell. Okay. If you've watched my other cat DNA test, then you guys have seen. I don't know. What the heck? Okay, we're just gonna bring this back. That's a good boy. Should we do it one more time? That's a good boy, Ashy. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, so I'm gonna say that one's done. It needs to be like 15, 20 seconds. I think I'm only gonna be able to do it on one side with him. I know, it feels funny. We might need a break too. Ooh, we got key breath. The vet that we used to go to I watched them do one of these cheek swabs and they, I'll try to show you on, oh gosh, sorry kiddo. You pull back right here and then you can like stick the swab in a lot easier. Okay, all done. Good job, Ashy. That was good. Because sometimes he, um, he can turn into Chucky like, like Charlie. Okay, Addie's turn. Oh, she got a big mat right there. Well, we're gonna have to get that. We're gonna have to get that. Addie is a little more used to things in her mouth because she has feeling or a rare gastrointestinal disease. Oh, good job, Addie. That was fantastic. So I'm pretty used to people manipulating her and stuff. It's hard to, um, I would just move with her, but I'm trying to show you guys. So you pull back that cheek and slip it in there. Oh, rude. Ah, oh, no, let's get it more though, because I need to make sure that we got your DNA on theirs. Um, you also don't want to do this like near when they're, they've eaten, and I know that they haven't eaten, so that's why I'm trying to get it done now. But it is nice that it, like, you know, take a break or whatever. The other thing is, is one of the tests I did, and I can't remember if it was the wisdom panel DNA test or another one, they suggested that you wash your hands, obviously avoid your own DNA from being on there. Okay, I'm gonna try our other side. 
Okay, we got it. So we'll let those air dry. I guess it doesn't matter if they touch each other since they're the same DNA. I'm sorry. I know that was rude. We haven't seen each other for a while and I just start doing that now. I'm gonna get this. I'm sorry, Jesus Louise, that was so rude. Okay, baby, I'm sorry. Are you ready for your hungries now? Yeah, how your hungries? Yes, good girl. She's a very, very nice cat. Borderline annoying sometimes. <laughs> but she's very sweet, sweet. Hard up a cat. Right? It's been about 10 minutes, maybe. So we've got Addie's. Now, this number here matches with the number on the outside of the box. So then we know what sample there is. Okay, and I put them bristle first into the sleeve. So we're gonna do that. Bristle first, bristle first. All right, and then it says you, tells you not to reseal it, reseal the, the protective sleeve, and then you just take this off and seal her up, and they're ready to go. All right, we got the results back. As you guys can see, it went to my spam folder, so if you order a test from Wisdom Panel, make sure that you check your spam folder because sometimes these emails can end up over there. You do get an email that says that they are in receipt, so... That one actually went to my regular inbox. I don't know why the results went to my spam folder. And then you just click on view results and then it will take you to wisdom panel. If you're already logged in like I was, then it's gonna show you all of your cats or your dog and cats. I added Ash and Addie on my account with Charlie and Trig, even though Ash and Addie are my sister and brother-in-law's cats. I thought it was best for privacy reasons to add them to my account and if later need be we can transfer them over but my sister didn't really care. I wanted to talk generally first about a few things that were found. Charlie and Ash have the same blood type. They are A blood type but carry B and then Trig and Ash both have one notable at-risk health result and it's the same thing. It's something that causes mild arthritis. And then lastly, Addie and Trig are both AA blood types, which I found really interesting. So if we click on view results, it's gonna take you to this page and you can go through the diversity, health traits, etc. You can also scroll down and download the technical report. So this is where you're gonna see more of the scientific stuff that maybe I don't completely understand, but you'll see that Addie's percentage of Hetero, I don't even know how to say that word. Genetic diversity is 26%. And I asked about that with Wisdom Panel because as you can see, it says the typical range for ragdolls is 32 to 37%. And let me show you Ash's really fast. Ash is at 36% and we'll download his technical report as well. Just for comparison purposes, Charlie's was at 33% and Chiggy was at 32%. So if we go back to Addie's, she said about both Ash and Addie that both kitties cluster well with ragdolls in their database, so they appear to be purebred. The lower number on Addie's would indicate some level of line breeding in her ancestry, so she's a little less diverse. Ash's number is higher, so more diverse. Both kitties show minor amounts of Persian in the ancestry, but that's not uncommon in ragdolls. The algorithm is likely picking up on some of the historical matches and shouldn't be an indicator that she's not purebred. Amy's ragdolls were rehomed. Amy's my sister. And the gal that rehomed them said she wasn't sure about Addie just because of the quote unquote breeder that she got him from. That's why it's always important to adopt from a reputable breeder. So these are all the genetic conditions that are tested and you can see that Addie is clear on all of them. And just to report back about the coat, this is where she's got the blood type A and then the genotype AA. But the coat is down here and you guys can read all through this kind of stuff when you get yours if you're interested, but the coat type is this one. And so it was Stormy with Family Time Rags in Oklahoma who told me about the M1, M2, M3, M4. 
and you'll see that Addy has two copies of M4. So let's compare the other kitties. All right, here's Ashes. Here's that 36% that he has. And then I was gonna show you his blood. Here's the AB with carrier for type B blood. And he carries two copies of M4 as well and not any other ones. So this is what confused me and I'm going to include what Wisdom Panel says in the about section of the video. But Ash and Addy have completely different coats in my opinion. Ash's is like plush and full and Addy's is longer and silky. It's n They're not the same. And so I don't know how to interpret this information. And my two cats, Charlie and Trig, here's Chiggy's, same deal. They actually had the same M numbers, M1 and M4. So this is interesting because my cats have the one that's discovered in a rag doll. So Chiggy has one copy of that and one copy of M4, whereas Charlie has the same. So I shouldn't even say whereas. Also, here's Charlie with the carrier type B blood that I mentioned. So Charlie has one copy of M1 and one copy of M4. So as far as the coat is concerned, I don't think I, I narrowed it down anymore. And unfortunately, like I said, the coat, in order to find those M1 through M4 coat types in your cat, they have to use saliva. But Wisdom Panel actually told me to save everything. I have hair from Camus and they told me to save it because technology and everything is changing so rapidly that they might be able to, to test hair eventually. They can if there's root involved in the hair because that's going to have the DNA in it. But I don't have the root. We cut it off of him. So unfortunately can't use that. Okay, so here's the diversity and then there's health like we mentioned, but it's this is all like on that technical sheet that I downloaded in a PDF. It's just a nicer way to look at it here and I'm going to include links to both Ash and Addie's and Charlie and Triggs if you want DNA results so you can check them out if you want. It talks about, you know, color point, partial full and white. That's Addie's bicolor, solid color and dilution, coat type, tail length, extra toes. It's really fun. And then really quick on Ash, that one notable that I talked about. Here's the diversity again, which we saw. And the one notable is this one that I will not be able to pronounce. But basically, he, they will experience mild joint inflammation and pain arthritis, which I have seen in Chiggy. And as long as I, Ash is five years younger than Chiggy, but as long as I keep on top of the inflammation, I don't really see any arthritis in him. And as we're changing diets and reducing the inflammation in his system, it's helping as well. This one I loved with Ashy because it's gloving, which is, you know, the mitts. He's a blue mitted, so I thought that was really cute. All right, guys, that wraps up our final product review video for the Wisdom Panel Optimal Selection Test. Here are the Wisdom Panel tests that I did, and this is that video that I did of Charlie and Triggs results. So I will include their test results from this test and then also include the test results from Ash and Addy's optimal selection test, which is this one. And this is all the information that you get, but you saw that on the test results that were included. Let me know what questions or concerns that you have. Let me know if you've done an optimal selection test. If, if you're a breeder, I know there are many ragdoll cat breeders that use the optimal selection test to test their breeding cats, which is absolutely essential if you are being responsible for the breed, I think it's absolutely essential that you do this and make sure that you are not bringing kittens in the world that have genetic diseases and then that owners have to deal with and cry and, and all that kind of stuff. Thank you. We'll see you next time.